Within the hills of Clay County, you'll find some of the youngest researchers anywhere. I did not think I would be part of a research study in fourth grade because when you're in fourth grade, you're kind of still classified as a little kid and not necessarily a scientist. But thanks to a community-based research project between UK and the Clay County School District, kids are indeed scientists. You've got little kids talking data, talking metrics. It all started with Clay County native Jill Day, who studied kids in her hometown as part of her dissertation. We looked at their uh, physical activity tracks. Uh, we also did um, body composition testing, and then we compared all that to their, to their grades. And so my interest started there. Which inspired Day to team up with kinesiology colleague Jody Clacy, whose research focus centers around body composition, as well as physiology professor Karen Esser. Esser wanted to ask new questions in Clay County based on her circadian rhythm research. What the circadian field has taught us is that there are associations between disruptions in circadian health and development of chronic disease, in particular metabolic disease and cardiovascular disease. And so, so our question, and, and, and in particular Clay County and, and many of the counties in Appalachia um, have a much higher rate of these chronic diseases. And we thought we'd be able to pick up something in the kids. And that was really the question. They treated the project, which was supported through the CCTS pilot funding program, as a partnership from the very beginning. Let's write this grant together, you know. Let's come up with ideas of how to truly make it a sustainable partnership and not a one and done. School officials jumped at the opportunity for UK to work with two of their schools. Manchester Elementary, which is located in town with a large population, and Oneida Elementary, one of our smallest schools that is in a rural area in a rural area. Dr. Allen approached me, said that UK had an opportunity for some of my students uh, in fourth and fifth grade if we were interested. And when I heard UK, I said, absolutely. Um, just the exposure that it could give to our kids, I said, bring it. They came and told you several days before what you were going to do and like how it wasn't going to hurt or anything like that. And really, they just had to continue their normal activities. They didn't have to do anything you know, beyond what they would do on a, on a regular school day. And the students, from the very beginning, they loved it. They were so excited. We were asking them to join us as research partners, um, serving as subjects by allowing us to take physiological measures, height, weight, body composition. We also gave them uh, what's called a Fitbit. So they just wear it on the wrists and it uh, takes all kinds of different physical activity measures. Uh, and then they also had something called an eye button. It's a skin a temperature monitoring system. And we had this little booklet thing that we kept our, um, like things that we did in the days, like what we ate, what time we got up. Each day they would record their sleep time, what they had for breakfast. It was all on a schedule, sequenced every day, repetitive each day for day one through seven. All of those measurements resulted in a lot of data. And with the help of our, our, the enthusiasm of the children and the support staff at Clay County and just a great team of people, we collected data on 142 children. But it's what happened during the data collection that surprised even school officials. Kids really got into this and loved it. They had to be creative. They were aware of what was going around them. And also at lunchtime, they decided that they were going to exercise and walk around our track. Um, walking into a classroom and seeing a kid doing jumping jacks in the classroom because they want their, their Fitbit to go farther than it was before. Kids are competitive by nature, and so they want to get those steps in, get that activity in. But even after the Fitbit was taken away, there's more movement than there was before it came. And even now they're aware. When they, when they go in the lunchroom and they see healthy foods, they're more prone to pick those up than what I'd seen before. It made me see like the healthy stuff I ate and the not so healthy stuff I ate. Made me feel more in shape. It's having an impact with the kids at a time that this can impact their health the rest of their life was very humbling to me. And we could go in and tell you, you need to be this physically active and you need to, but when they join you in the project and they join you in discovery and knowledge, 
it's just much more powerful. It makes you feel better about yourself that you know that you've helped somebody. They walked bolder. During the seven day Fitbit wearing, we had a home ball game, football game. And I looked over and I saw all these kids with the little wristbands and their eye buttons and they were like showing them to other kids. Like, hey, I'm doing this research. I'm a researcher. One of the children, uh, when asked to give up a part of the, the device wear by another child said, I can't. I'm a University of Kentucky researcher. And he's joined us. You know, we're not just going down there and doing something to him. You know, he's joined us as a partner in research. Well, the next step is analyzing the data and just seeing uh, kind of where we are. Um, and then that will help us hopefully maybe do some interventions um, and tell these kids that this is what we found um, because you again want them to be a part of this process. So they, uh, you know, helped us collect the data, but uh, we want them to know what we found. It's not only about promoting the science and discovery, but it's establishing long-term relationships with a community. They with the University of Kentucky community, we with the Clay County community. You know, I love partnerships. I love the, what it does for parents. I love all that, but I keep coming back to this. It has impacted our children because they see and they're a part of something bigger than themselves. But this story doesn't end here. As a reward for their research, the students earned a field trip to UK. And even after it was over, the concern of the kids every day is, when do we get to go to UK? I just want that day at campus to be the beginning of their college aspirations. Next month on UK Now, part two of the story will explore the educational impact this project is having and what it means for the future for these Clay County kids. I'm just glad they picked us to do it because I never really thought that I would do this, so I'm glad I did too.